Whether you're concerned about the screening process of the refugees who arrived from Afghanistan or not, the reality is this. If they choose to leave either military installation, the journey from there isn't easy. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips has extra depth and perspective on what ref refugees are up against. She joins us live from just outside the Doniana base camp at Fort Bliss. Rachel. Eric, we're just a couple miles up. just how dark it is here at nighttime. We're actually going to take you out to the right here a little bit where you can see that it's really nothing but desert landscape over here. There are no house lights out there, which really just goes to show just how tough it is for these Afghan refugees to leave on their own accord. Every one of those 10,000 can choose to leave tomorrow. But just how easy is it? Vanessa Ortiz said the complex is far and it's really hot. Afghan refugees face a nearly 10-mile trek from the Doña Ana range complex to the closest town, Chaparral. When we go in the car, it's really far, so I could only imagine walking. Senator Ted Cruz said that an Afghan refugee actually got an Uber from the Doña Ana complex here all the way to downtown El Paso. So I want to see just how tough that actually is. If you take a look here at Uber, you can see that there are actually no cars available and it's going to cost around $16. If we then take a look at Lyft, there are limited availability and the cost is going to be about $20. Here at Holloman, if I type Alamogordo, the closest town to here, into Uber, it says there are no cars available and it's going to cost around $30. If I do the same thing with Lyft, it says it's also going to cost around $30 and they have limited availability, in which case it'll take about 40 minutes to get from here all the way to Alamogordo, which is just six miles. A general labourer who works on Holloman Air Force Base told me anyone is more than welcome to leave, but a lack of transportation is the biggest obstacle for refugees. They could get rides with other people, you know what I'm saying, if they're willing to, but it's a little bit hard because they have that sound or language barrier. Another option is the Z-Trans, a local bus company that has a route that runs from Alamogordo to Holloman every hour from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday and 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday. There's also walking the six miles, something Elias Ledesma says they would have to do right as the base opens at 6 a.m. or when it closes at 6 p.m. due to the heat. But that isn't the only challenge they would face if they decided to walk. The highway, all the traffic, especially with construction right now, it would be pretty dangerous walking. Here on the outskirts of Alamogordo, just at the closest gas station, I pulled up Uber again and it's telling me there are no cars available. Lyft also giving us the same results saying there is limited availability. Now, just because we weren't able to get an Uber or Lyft when we tried doesn't mean an Afghan refugee won't be able to, but it does just go to show just how tough it is for them to get out of one of these sites and how far away they are from civilization. The other thing to note is the phone reception. I have just one bar out here near the Doña Ana Range Complex. For now, reporting live from the Doña Ana Range Complex, Rachel Phillips, ABC7. All right, Rachel, and ABC7 reached out to the Department of Homeland Security, the branch in charge, to get more information about the process of Afghan refugees leaving, but we did not hear back by the time of this newscast.